guys, this is me, Kara, and I'm back at show with another video, and today I'm doing my New Year's Revolutions for 2022, and then I'm going to show you my vision board. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share, turn on notification bell on, so you know every time I post another video, and let's get started. I have my New Year's Revolutions here, so I'm going to read them. The first one is to take care of my mental health and have a positive attitude no matter what. Like, <clears throat> I want to take care of my mental health more and be in a more stable state. Like, I've been stable, but I have my depressed days. So, I want to learn how to do more self-care and stuff and journal and stuff while I'm having my bad days to get my thoughts out and... Just to take care of it more and, um, <coughs> take my meds daily, <coughs> talk to my therapist once a week, and my psychiatrist twice a <coughs> week. Oh <my coughs> I took the water. I talk to my psychiatrist every two weeks <clears throat> and keep my appointments going, not canceling it, them, and <clears throat> just taking care of my overall mental health. Because in the past, it has been really, really bad. And I know this year I won't be able to control my depression and anxiety and stuff. But I can manage it and make it better. So that's what I want to do for the new year. The next one is being consistent on social media. Whether it's TikTok, YouTube, and uh, Instagram. I want to be more consistent and post every day. On YouTube, not every day. On YouTube... <clears throat> Like three times a week. But on TikTok and Instagram, I want to post every day. So, if you're not following me on my TikTok and Instagram, the, the, um, my, my, uh, social media is in the description down below. Go follow me because I'm going to be posting some content on there. And I hope you guys do follow me if you're not following me already on my social medias. I know some of you are already. Follow me on all my social medias, which I really appreciate. I love when you guys follow me and I follow you guys back. I like watching you guys' TikToks and stuff, so. The next one is going back to church. I need to go back to church. When I used to go to church, I felt like rejuvenated. I felt positive. Like, I just felt <clears throat> like life was going to be good and everything was going to be okay. Like, I always had the, this positive attitude when I went to church. It always changes my mindset. So, I want to go back to church this year. I haven't been going to church because of COVID. So, I've been really nervous about going back to church. But, I feel like I should go back to church. Because it really helped me a lot with my mental health. And it just helped me a lot in general. So I want to go back to church soon. I can't wait because I miss church. And I love church. And I just can't wait to go back. The next one is I want to read more. I want to read over 20 to 30 books this year. I have a lot of books. Like so many books. Like maybe one day I will show you guys my book, my book collection. It is so so much books. I have like a whole library. Like it's crazy. I didn't even read half the books. It's crazy. So I have to read at least 20 to 30 books this year because I have to get my book game on and start reading more because I love to read. It just takes my mind out of my the real world and into this book. And especially fiction books, it takes your mind out out into the fiction book and um so I love fiction books I love self-help books I love autobiographies those are my three favorites and those are the ones that I read a lot so I'm going to get back into reading I can't wait to get back into reading because reading is just 
It's like one of my coping skills. It's one of my self cares. So I can't wait to get back into that. The next one is I want to eat more healthy. I was eating healthy and I did lose 19 pounds. But then the holidays came. And I gained some weight. I gained some holiday weight. Like 6 to 7 pounds. So I have to lose more weight. So I'm going to try to eat healthier. I was eating healthy, but then, you know, the holidays came. And you don't want to eat healthy stuff during the holidays. Like, the holidays is, like, all the good food. So, like, why would I... And then my birthday came, and I had cake, ice cream. So, like, I was enjoying myself. So, I can get rid of this weight. I know I can get rid of this weight. I feel like I still look good. So, I'm not... I'm not just scared or I'm not mad that I gained some weight. But I have to eat more healthier. Eat more fruit and vegetables. Eat fish, chicken. That's how I lost weight before. I was eating fish and vegetables like every day. <laughs> and it was getting annoying but I was just like whatever. Let me just try to do this so I can lose some weight. Um, the next one is to work out. Four times a week. I want to work out four times a week in my schedule for like an hour. I usually do dance workouts and they're really fun and it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're working out but you're also burning calories and everything so I love doing that. And um, I want to be consistent with working out sometimes I get lazy to work out because I work out at home in the winter time like in the spring and summertime and fall time I do walk outside I do five miles but in the winter time I do not walk so I work out at home and sometimes when you're at home you're not really motivated so it's kind of hard but I'm gonna try to be really motivated and really consistent this year with my weight loss. The next one is I want to cook more. I don't cook much because I have no one to cook for. <laughs> but I should cook for myself. So like I I have cookbooks and stuff. I need to use the, these cookbooks. And then I just let them sit on the bookshelf being dusty. I have to um you know cook more cook different meals cook for people and just get into the cooking game so I can learn how to cook and know how to cook. And yeah, I cook like simple stuff. I don't cook like big meals. So I want to cook bigger meals. Good meals, healthy meals. Sometimes uh, junk meals like, like spaghetti or something. But healthy meals too. So... Oh, the last one is I want to do a podcast this year. I've been trying to do a podcast since last year. And I read information about it. I've researched it and stuff. And um, I really want to do a podcast, but I do not know what to talk about on there. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions on what to talk about on my podcast, please leave it in the description. No, not the description. Please leave it in the comments down below. And <clears throat> yes, please leave it in the comments down below. So you and I will let you know when my podcast comes out, and you guys can listen to it. But now I'm going to show you guys my my vision board that I made. So I have to screen record. So hold on one second. Uh, I'll screen record. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my hair. Here is my, uh, <clears throat> here is my vision board. It has vegetables and fruit because I want to eat healthy. It has TikTok on there because I want to do TikToks daily. It has YouTube on there because I want to do YouTube three times a week. I have traveling. 
around the world picture with luggage because I want to travel. And then I have the plaque, the 100,000 plaque. I hope I can get there, but I'm not, I don't really know. I just put it there for motivation. And then I have the podcast, the, um, the speaker and the headphones. And then last but not least, I have working out, a picture of someone working out. So that is my, um, that is my vision board for the, for the year. It's pretty simple, so I hope you guys enjoy my um, New Year's resolutions and my vision board. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, turn on the kitchen bell, so you know every time me, I, Karen Dimples, post another video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!